my wife Ann Barber is uh, my business partner also, and then we have two kids who are pretty much moved out, but not quite. My daughter was uh, born in the UK, but uh, our son was actually born in the living room here. Because it's an island and because um, um, the pregnancy happened, it was uh, precipitous and happened very quickly, we weren't able to get to town because it was the middle of the night and the ferry boat wasn't running, and the midwives weren't able to get here quick enough, so he, he was just, he was born, so I, uh, I would, you know, I caught him. That, now that's a serious island issue because at the time, um, uh, the, the, the legalities about midwif midwifery wouldn't allow midwives to uh, come out here. And yet there were sort of some renegade midwives, not renegade, but um, anyway, some midwives came out and they helped. But at the time, it, it was there were laws against that kind of stuff, so it was a little bit dodgy. But we just couldn't get to town, and so it was a home birth. There's a fire department and sometimes uh, some police officers, um, but they have uh, boats from that will come from town to pick you up, you know, if there's a problem. But again, it wasn't really a problem; it was just a childbirth, you know. And so we were prepared for this, that, you know, that there's a chance that our son would be born at home. So we so we had a, a place, we had a friend's house in the city and if, if the pregnancy had been just a normal, you know, longer pregnancy, uh, birth, childbirth, then the, uh, you know, we were prepared for that, but, but it all happened so quickly that it was just born here. And then the midwives came over on a, on a water taxi and uh, helped, but after, after Theo was born. So that's a serious island issue, medical things, you know, because we're a little bit isolated. Um, and we don't have all the facilities that regular communities have. So things like food or uh, security or, you know, like police forces and uh, all that stuff has to come from uh, the city. So consequently, we do a lot of stuff to, you know, it's more like a small Northern Ontario town where we, um, we do more entertaining of ourselves and, uh, and taking care of each other. So it's more social because if you run out of butter, you know your friend has butter, your next door neighbor has butter. So.